Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'll explain how easy it is to create and configure the Sync Fusion React list view using the Create React App command. The list view component is used to design a call history like application where you can see a list like interface that allows you to select an item or multiple items. I will also show you how to configure a few of the control's basic features like binding data, grouping list items, adding checkboxes to a list, and adding nested list items. Let's start with the application creation process. First, I create the app using the Create React App toolchain and use VS Code as the editor and show the output in the Chrome browser. Now, I'll create a new application in the command prompt using the npx create react app command and provide the app name myreactapp. I set the script version to template TypeScript. Next, navigate to the desired location and run this example using the npm start command. Now, I can edit the app.tsx page to show the list view. I open the project in VS Code and remove the default code snippets from the app.tsx file. I remove the styles from the app.css file and import the Bootstrap 5 theme CSS styles to apply them to the list view component. Then, I install the package using the command npm install at syncfusion ej2 react lists. Once the package is installed, I import it from the ej2 react lists package and include the list view component tag. Let me run this application. See, list view is rendered with no records. Data can be bound to the list view using the data source property. Here, I can bind an array of simple data, array of JSON objects, or remote data. First, I'll show you binding list view to array of simple data. To this data source property, I assign the array of string values like artwork, abstract, modern painting, etc. I also need to map the ID and text fields when binding the data. When binding to array of simple data, both ID and text fields will be considered the same. Let me run this application. See here, the list view displays the string array values. I can select one item at a time. I can also bind a JSON array to the list view component. In data.js file, I have already defined the object, group data with fields, text, ID, and category. In the app.tsx page, I import the group data from data.js file. Then assign this JSON object to the data source property. Then I need to map the JSON object fields to the ID and text fields using the fields property. ID field is used to map the ID attribute of the list item in the data source. Here, I map this ID field. Text field is used to map the list item display name. Here I map this text field. Notice here, the data source field name is the same as the property name. In this case, field mapping is not necessary, but to explain the concept, I have done the mapping here. See here, the list view is rendered based on a JSON object. To bind remote data, I use the Syncfusion Data Manager. I import the data manager from the namespace ej2 data. Then I declare the variable remote data and create an instance of the data manager to provide the service endpoint URL using the URL property. I assign the remote data link. To make the server understand the request and process the response, we need to specify the adapter type. You can refer to the different adapter types in the UG link provided in the description below. Here I import and use the Web API adapter and enable the cross domain option. I assign this variable to the data source property. Then I map an employee ID field to the ID property and first name field to the text property. Declare another variable, data query, and create an instance of query to specify the field name to fetch from the remote data. Assign this to the query property in the list view. Check now, the list view is rendered with the remote data. Next, I will show you how to render a checklist. 
checkbox can be displayed by enabling the show checkbox property. See, the list view is rendered with a checkbox in each list item, and I can select multiple items. By default, the checkbox is positioned to the left of the list item text. I can change its position using the checkbox position property and setting its value to right. See now, the checkbox is positioned on the right side of the list item text. Next, I'll show you how to categorize the list view items using the group by property. I'm going to categorize all the employees in this remote data by designation. In the field settings, I add the group by property and set its value to designation. Look at the list view now. List items are categorized based on the designation. Finally, I will show you how to render a nested list. I have already defined the nested list data in the data.js file. I import that data and assign it to the data source. Then map the ID in text fields in the field settings. Then map the child field from the data source to the child property of field settings. Then I will enable the show header property and set its header title to folders. You can render the nested list with checkbox, but in my example checkbox is not needed. So, I disable it. Check now, nested list items are rendered with header. You can navigate to the sub list items by clicking any item and navigating back to the parent list item using the back icon at the top left. In this video, I have shown you how to create and configure the Sync Fusion React list view component using the Create React App command and a few of its basic features. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the description below. I've also shared a link where you can see about obtaining a free license key to use our React products if you're eligible for our community license. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel.